Hello everyone, I'm Courtney Owen from the Office Developer Experience team. And today I'm going to demo Outlook side loading and debugging. So what do I mean by side loading? Side loading is the ability to automatically register an add-in without having to go through the manual steps. In the past, we've supported side loading for Word, Excel, and PowerPoint, but never for Outlook. And so right now, if you were to try and side load a Outlook add-in project, you would see this. You would get an error saying side load is not supported on this host. And that's kind of uh, not ideal for developers because they want to be able to run NPM start and be able to start up their dev server, side load their add-in and have Outlook boot. And so they can quickly verify that their add-in is up and running. Well, we've made local changes recently that should be checked in soon that will now allow you to side load Outlook. So I'm going to show you here real quick on my developer machine how that works. So I have the same add-in and I'm going to run the same command npm start. This time no error and we boot Outlook and show you this warning message. This warning message is just to let you know that we're going to register an add-in and we're doing this for security purposes. So someone doesn't potentially uh, maliciously install an add-in on a user's machine. We see this as a very much an edge case, but we wanted to protect the user nonetheless. So I'm going to go ahead and say, OK. And I have my add-in now. Now, the next thing I'm going to show you is debugging. So before I click on Show Task Pane, I want to tell you a little bit about the Outlook debugging experience in the past or lack thereof. Outlook uses background add-ins extensively, such as commands and background on send. The problem with trying to debug these types of add-ins is that their web view instance can expire very quickly, and a developer doesn't have time to attach the debugger before the web view instance expires. So you can't debug it. So what we've done is come up with a very slick, simple solution that will give the developer a chance to attach to the web view instance. So what I'm going to do now is I'm going to click on show task pane, and that's going to bring up a dialog here. And it's telling you that, hey, we created a web view instance, and you can now attach to it before we execute the JavaScript code. So I'm going to go over to VS Code here, and I'm going to attach debugger to that web view instance. Then I'm going to say OK here. And you see, we hit in the debugger here. And this is the actual task pane loading. So I'll continue here. And we've got the task pane loading. Now I'm going to actually execute the task pane run function. Once again, we hit the debugger here. OK, so that's cool. So that's a task pane add-in. Now I want to show you the background add-in case, which has always been very difficult, if not impossible, to debug, unless you go through Outlook Online. So in this instance, I'm going to run a command. And once again, it's going to bring up that dialog. And I'm going to go over here. And I'm going to select this instance and say OK. And it's going to hit the command code here. Go back here. I can execute it again. And we hit it in the debugger again. Now, I want to show you the final case here. And this has always been the one that's really never been possible to debug. And this is the background on send case. Now, the background on send case, once the JavaScript code executes, it expires, the WebView instance expires immediately. There's no possibility that you're going to be able to attach the debugger in time. So I have a add-in here that's going to run that validates that this email is sendable. And this is a test account I'm using here. So this is not my official Outlook account. And I'm going to click Send. It's going to bring up a dialog here so you can attach the debugger. So I'm going to go back again. And I'm going to attach to this instance. 
and I'm going to go OK. And it's going to hit the breakpoints for my validate sendable function here. And I can step through this code. And then you notice that the debugger detaches right away. That's because the WebView instance has officially expired. So had we not brought up that dialog, we never would have been able to attach to it. Now, one thing I want to show you that's really nice about this side loading is that I can make a change to my add-in and I'll be able to see that change right away without having to go through the cumbersome manual steps of registering an add-in. So I'll close this down here and I'm going to go to my manifest and I'm just going to add the word demo in here. Save it. And then we'll side load again. Warns you again. We go back to our task pane here and we see the new title here, demo in here. So this is a really nice way to be able to make quick changes and verify them without having to go through all those manual steps, such as get add-in, my add-in, add a custom add-in, add from file. That can get to be really tedious and time consuming for a developer. So I want to show you the final case which is doing everything from within VS Code. And what I'm going to do here is I'm going to edit my launch.config file. So we will boot, outlook, sideload, and attach the debugger all at once. So I'm going to click this here. Let you know that there's an attempt to register an add in. You say OK. And we hit the debugger. Everything done within VS Code. So that's a really nice scenario for a developer to be able to do all their developing and debugging all in the same tool. So that's about all I have for the demo. Uh, this code is all local on my own machine, but it should be ready to check in pretty soon. And I would imagine by uh, the first of the year, this should be available for users in production. Thank you. And that's the end of my demo. Cool. Thanks, Courtney.